As Nigeria joins the rest of the world to commemorate the 2024 Pneumonia Day, parents have been advised to ensure their children under five years are vaccinated to prevent the killer disease pneumonia. Speaking at a community awareness program to promote vaccine confidence among the people Igbon in commemoration of the day, the executive director of Pink Health Initiative, Dr. Anire Chima Oduko, stressed the importance of pneumonia prevention with a special emphasis on the role of vaccines. The event held at Igbo Efon Primary School, Primary Health Center in Leki, Lagos, brought together healthcare professionals, community leaders, and families to spotlight the global health issue and explore practical solutions to reduce pneumonia-related deaths. Today is World Pneumonia Day, a day set aside to put the um, spotlight on pneumonia and ways we can prevent it. And um, one of the ways we can prevent pneumonia is through vaccination. Um, vaccines, there are vaccines that you can take to prevent some of the bacteria that causes pneumonia and um, so if you take those vaccines it means you will not have pneumonia so pneumonia is actually a preventable disease by vaccine and apart from pneumonia there are other over 20 vaccine preventable diseases and we know that pneumonia is one of the top killers of children under five years old we have so many different types of pneumonia for pneumonia in young children pneumonia in adults but luckily today we have so many preventive strategies against pneumonia, including we have lots of vaccines that are available and we also have treatment for pneumonia. So today we want to bring to the fore, to the public, the information that they need to have to protect themselves from pneumonia. Things like when you have a cough, cover your cough properly with your elbow. If you have symptoms like fever, cough, make sure you seek help from a healthcare provider. And when vaccines are available, you take advantage of those vaccines. According to the World, World Health Organization, pneumonia is one of the leading causes of death among children under five, claiming more than 2.5 million lives each year. Dr. Chima Oduko highlighted the importance of education and explained that although pneumonia is often perceived as a common illness, it can be fatal if not treated properly and early. During the program, the challenges health workers face during vaccination, especially in the rural and underserved communities where access to health care can be limited, also came to the spotlight. We decided to convene this meeting of stakeholders in the community that can influence the people that they lead to take vaccines because we've of recent there have been a lot of vaccine hesitancy people not taking vaccines rejecting vaccines keeping vaccines so we want to correct that so that is why we decided to call key stakeholders let them talk let's hear from them and let's also educate them on the importance of vaccines so that they take this message back to their communities and um, it improves vaccine confidence in Lagos State. So vaccines basically are what has been introduced to help boost immunity within our community. Vaccination exercises are going on and are sponsored by the government to ensure that its citizens are safe within the state. So we've actually been launching a lot of campaigns and a lot of programs which are government-sponsored government in the states to ensure that everyone is captured and everyone's health is secured. So currently we are also having our integrated supplemental immunization activity. We have vaccines for yellow fever, measles, and the human papilloma virus are currently being administered to different populations and age within the society. We also carry out stakeholders meeting where you call the key community gatekeepers, people that you know that are influential, that people say are ah, he gets mouth there, people that can speak to people and they listen to them. We call them and ensure they understand what we want to do. They understand the benefits of immunization to the community members, how it profiles adds immunity for their community members such that people don't get sick after vaccination. So after doing all this, if we still have an individual, you know, you still have some schools that may be even the head teacher or the principal that is rejecting that will say, all oh, the parents said no. So you need to educate that head teacher or the principal and let her, um, let um, you appeal to her conscience so that she will be a change agent. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.